Let's talk about bees real quick. What's going on y'all, it's DG back with another video. Today, I wanted to show y'all my entire AE1 Anthony Edwards 1 collection from Adidas so far. Okay, so this video is filmed before the McDonald's All-American colorway has released, so that will not be part of the video, but I wanted to just talk about the shoe, go over every single colorway that I have, so let's get right into it. I have the first release called the With Love Georgia Peach colorway. Every single colorway of the AE1 is so good. And performance wise, if y'all don't know, please go to my channel, subscribe, like this video, comment, but go to my channel and watch my AE1 performance review because I have done multiple videos for the performance about this product. The one issue that a lot of people have about this shoe is that it is a little bit bulky. It is a little bit heavier than what we're kind of used to as hoopers, where we have a lot of low tops. We have a lot of shoes made out of just straight up mesh or knits. This isn't a shoe like that, okay? So this shoe is a little bit more an average weight in my personal opinion, but the traction is really good on this shoe. I think that the pattern actually protrudes out just a little bit, so it's able to grab the floor pretty well. It squeaks really loud for those who like that. The grip, you know, when we're talking about traction and performance, is really good. You may have to wet from time to time, but overall this traction is pretty dang good. Cushion is very comfortable, but it is lower to the ground in the forefoot. But overall, it is a very smooth, comfortable shoe, okay? So this cushion setup is actually very solid for all positions. The main thing about this shoe to me is that it's very supportive, okay? So y'all can just look at the shoe aesthetically. Y'all can look at the silhouette, the design, and you guys can infer that for yourselves. But the way it looks is the way that it performs. It is very supportive. There is like a mimic of a, you know, carbon fiber heel counter, but it is plastic i think so it's not exactly carbon fiber but this you know heel counter does provide a lot of support regardless the fit of this shoe is true to size i like how these fit better than the hardened volume eights the hardened volume eights fit a little bit you know long they just look bigger as a shoe than other basketball shoes in the same size but this shoe does fit true to size so if you're a wide footer or a narrow footer i would just stay true to size this is a very comfortable shoe in my opinion so this first colorway right here is very nice this was the debut colorway that released a couple of months ago so far i have every single colorway i do plan to collect the 81 because i'll talk about it in the future colorways but i think it's one of the best first signature basketball shoes that we've seen in the past decade this is the first colorway right here one downside about the ae1 as well if you guys are a stickler for this is that it does get a lot of scratches on the midsole and on the rubber material right here i'm not sure how well you guys can see that but it does get scratched up on the midsoles and you know the traction patterns and stuff like that i wouldn't say it's the best durability either with that said so if you guys are looking for the most durable basketball shoe especially towards the bottom of the shoes then I wouldn't recommend the AE1, but at the same time, like the upper is extremely durable in my opinion. You're just going to get a lot of scratches. So this is the first colorway, the With Love. The second colorway that I have is the New Wave colorway. I believe this was the second to release, if my memory is not escaping me. This colorway is tough. This reminds me of the Timberwolves and y'all who have watched my videos who've been subscribed for a very long time on YouTube know that I like two things in basketball shoes. One. I like colorways that represent the team that the player is on. And then two, I like monochromatic colorways. So, you know, shoes that are just primarily one color and nothing else. This kind of fulfills the monochromatic vibe, but also like this Timberwolves, you know, vibe color scheme is just very tough because Anthony Edwards actually wears this in game and obviously it matches his jerseys. And that's what I love about the AE1 as well. Okay, so this is something that other brands are kind of doing, but they're not really. A lot of other brands focus on player editions, player exclusives, so PEs. So the players always wear like PE product and in colorways that the public, the general public aren't able to get. But with the AE1, Anthony Edwards is actually wearing the product that consumers can get on the court, okay? So he's actually wearing stuff that we can get at Foot Locker, we can get on adidas.com. And that's something that's really missing. You know, I feel like that's it's missing the mark on other brands. And it's, it's actually kind of crazy because other brands are missing this thing where their players are just wearing PEs. And it doesn't make sense to me because it's like so simple, right? Like if you're trying to sell a shoe, you get the player to wear the same exact shoe that is available for people to buy, right? So like if a KD16 
you know, Slim Reaper releases on JD Sports, then we want to see Kevin Durant wearing the KD16 Slim Reaper that we can get on JD Sports. But no, in game, he's wearing an alternate PE colorway. And with Adidas, with Anthony Edwards, he's actually wearing the colorway that we're able to get online ourselves. So that's what I really like about the 81 rollout in marketing as well, is that he actually wears these colorways. And what's cool about, you know, this colorway in specific, as well as the With Love colorway that I just showed, is that it came with extra laces. And the next colorway I'm going to show you right now did not. So this is the future colorway, also known as the All-Star Game. In the All-Star Game itself, Anthony Edwards actually wore the, you know, this pair right here with green lime laces that matches the Adidas logo in the back. But this pair did not come with the green lime laces. I'm not sure, like, why they didn't, if, especially if Anthony Edwards is going to switch the laces out. But at the same time, this colorway is so good. I remember first seeing these in the marketing images and in person, I was, like, very blown away. And also this shoe only costs 125 USD, I think. So less than 130, which is absolutely insane for the packaging, for the box, for the colorways, for the player, for the performance. Like it's actually insane how great of a price point this is for the product that you're going to get. So this is the future colorway, also known as the all-star colorway. Only downside is that it didn't come with the bright green laces. So, you know, if anyone has those, let me know. But this is an extremely tough colorway. The next colorway that released was the Best of Addy colorway, which is very clean. This was first known as the Stormtrooper, but um, not officially, right? This is Those are nicknames that the general public gives to shoes. So this does look like a Stormtrooper colorway. Next time I go to Disneyland, maybe I'll rock these at, uh, you know, the Star Wars ride that I've rode probably like 10 times at this point. So maybe I'll rock these, take a picture, you know, right when you go into the ride for everyone who's been to Disneyland. Um, when you first enter, you're going to see like these stormtroopers just lined up. So maybe I'll wear these and take a picture, but these are extremely tough. Haven't played in this colorway yet, but these are just so nice. The Anthony Edwards one, if you guys don't have a pair, once you open the box, it just feels like a real signature shoe, okay? It's very substantial. It has great materials, very like premium, you know, in my opinion, it is somewhat premium. The, for the price that you're getting, it is, in my opinion. So I really like this Best of Addy colorway. Not necessarily my favorite. I would have to rank it probably last, but I do like the cleanliness of this. I do like the versatility of this colorway. So let me know what you guys think of the Best of Addy. Now for my favorite colorway, the most recent release is the Velocity Blue. So this is the Velocity Blue colorway and I absolutely love this. Why? Because y'all know, I like monochromatic colorways, like I mentioned earlier. And this time it did come with the bright green laces. So I might use these on the um, on the future colorway, the all-star colorway. So let me know if you guys wanna see that, but these are so tough. These are so tough. This is a true Timberwolves throwback colorway. And even the outsole is monochromatic, same as the upper. So I absolutely love this colorway right here. Again, these only retail for 125, which is crazy. And I'm extremely, extremely excited for my next favorite colorway to release, guys. The McDonald's All-American colorway that I first thought was a PE. I first thought those were a player exclusive because usually McDonald's All-American game um, Adidas shoes are usually PEs, but we're actually getting them. We're actually getting them. And they're mismatched with yellow laces. One shoe is red and white. The other shoe is blue and white. That is crazy. Adidas is killing it, man. It, I know it's very early in 2024, guys, but this is the front runner for basketball shoe of the year, holistically speaking. Not even talking about performance, guys, because that box is already checked. I already talked about the performance. This is a very good performance product, unless you just don't like heavy shoes, but this is like a little bit more than average weight, I think. Are very, very good performance wise, in my personal opinion. It's not the most amazing shoe in the world. If this was a little bit lighter, I think like uh, so many people would rock with these. So many people love these um, already. But if they were a little bit lighter, like I think these might be like runaway sneaker of the past five years, maybe. But not even talking about performance wise, we're going to talk about like the marketing because that has been crazy. Anthony Edwards that I talked about before is actually wearing this product. 
the um, social media posts are going crazy. Like his personality is very fitting for a signature shoe, which is great. So the marketing is great. The rollout is great. The release is like not too limited, but though this is an amazing product guys. And I can't wait for future colorways because we've also seen a pink colorway. We saw a metallic pink, a pearlized pink. I think it's called platinum pink. Those go crazy. And then we also seen a charcoal colorway, which is pretty similar to these, but has like a charcoal upper. So I can't wait for future AE1 releases. This is the first basketball shoe that I've actually collected every single colorway in so far in a long time. So I usually don't like collecting every single colorway. And by collecting, I mean like actually stays in the collection. I like hooping in a lot of shoes just to test for all of you guys. But you know, I, whether or not I keep them or just, you know, give them away is a different story. But these, these, I actually like really want to keep every single colorway because they just look so good. Also casually, these look good guys. Cause I was at um, Indiana for all-star weekend and the entire Adidas roster, entire Adidas team, you know, employees, basketball players, non-basketball players, you know, they were wearing the AE ones and they look good guys. They look good. So let me know what you guys think of the AE ones. And out of everything that I showed, what is the best colorway? Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on all socials at Hoops. Like this video and comment, especially if you made it this far and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.